Welcome to the Wisdom Mastermind. Today we'll be solving a problem from two perspectives, a Zen monk and a Stoic philosopher. And today the question is, why do I feel so easily controlled by the emotions of others? The quote, anyone who can make you angry becomes your master, is a powerful reminder that our emotions can be manipulated and those who can provoke us can hold power over us. It's a simple translation. Allowing anger to control us gives others control over us. The question I pose to you is, how can we break free from this emotional bondage and regain control of our inner peace? Tell me, what do you think of this problem and how each of you would approach this question? This problem is a classic example of the power of our own perceptions and how they influence our emotional state. As Epictetus reminds us, it is not the events themselves that upset us, but our judgments about those events. The anger we feel is a reaction to what we perceive as an injustice or a threat to our ego. It's important to remember that we have a choice in how we respond to external stimuli. We can choose to remain calm and collected, or we can allow our emotions to take control. A stoic approach would be to cultivate a sense of detachment from external events. We need to understand that we have no control over the actions of others, but we do have control over our own reactions. This involves recognizing that the things that truly matter are within our power. Our thoughts, our actions, and our values. By focusing on what we can control, we can reduce the influence of external factors on our emotions and become less susceptible to manipulation. This struggle with controlling emotions is a universal human experience. It's like a turbulent river, constantly changing, pulling us along its current. The key lies in accepting this natural flow of emotions and detaching ourselves from the identification with them. This means observing anger without judgment recognizing it as a wave that rises and falls. Donner, TM, T resist the wave of anger, but acknowledge it with gentle awareness, like a compassionate observer. Think of it like this. Just as a skilled surfer rides the wave, we can ride the wave of anger with a calm and present mind. Instead of letting anger control us, we can choose to observe it, understand it, and ultimately let it pass without becoming entangled in its energy. This is the path to liberation, to break free from the chains of emotional reactivity and find true inner peace. Like, share, and subscribe for more daily wisdom. Thank you. Stoistika.